Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Lemuroid on your Android device. If you're not a fan of the complexity that RetroArch offers, and you just want a basic, simplified retro gaming experience for your Android device, Lemuroid will have you covered. In this video, I'll show you how to install Lemuroid, how to add games, and how to play those games. So there are two ways to install Lemuroid. You could either go to the Google Play Store and install it from there, or you could go to the Lemuroid Git GitHub page and install it from there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install it from the GitHub page, just in case if in the future Google decide to remove Lemuroid from the Google Play Store. So first step, go to the GitHub page, which I've linked in the description below. Once you're on the GitHub page, scroll down until you see this releases section and beneath it, you'll see a version number and you'll see the word latest written in green. So click on that and then scroll down until you see assets at the bottom here and you'll see Lemuroid app free dynamic release dot APK. And that's the one we're interested in. And then click on the download icon here. And then you might see this pop up, which says file might be harmful. I offer no warranty and no guarantee through this process. So any risks you take during the installation process are yours and yours alone. For this video, I'm going to be clicking download anyway. And once the file's downloaded, go to open. Because I've downloaded this app from a source that isn't the Google Play Store, this security alert message has appeared. And this is because the app is being installed from a source other than the Google Play Store. So I'll click on settings, scroll down, and where it says allow from this source, I'll enable that. And then it says, do you want to install the app? And install, app installed, go to done, and let's click this button again to re-enable the security. And now go to the home screen and open Lemuroid and you'll be presented with this screen here. Now, the first thing to do is select a ROMs directory. So what you need to do is click on select directory and then point to the folder on your Android device, which contains all of your games. So click on select directory. Now, as you can see, I've already prepared a folder which contains a few sample games. So I'll click on use this folder and then you'll see this alert message and you want to click on allow and now Lemuroid will begin scanning. And as you can see, the games have been added to Lemuroid and the box art has automatically been applied. Now, I just wanted to show you some of these games just to give you an idea of which systems Lemuroid covers. So we have NES, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, Sega Master System, Game Gear, Nintendo 64, arcade games, PC Engine, and even 3DS. Now, the performance of these games will obviously depend on the power of your Android device. If you're using a fairly modern flagship type device, it will probably run all the games. But if you're using an Android device that's say maybe, I don't know, five or six years old, you might struggle with some systems such as PSP and 3DS. But even with older Android devices, stuff like 8-bit and 16-bit systems should work work just fine. Okay, so let's test a game. I'll click on Diddy Kong Racing. Now, as you can see, we have touchscreen controls. If you're not a fan of touchscreen controls, you're more than welcome to connect a Bluetooth controller. Okay, so let's get to the game just to prove that these controls do indeed work. So here you have the analog stick, now, if you want to go back to the Lemuroid menu, just keep hold of the button that has the three lines here, just like this. And here you'll see some useful options such as save state, load state, you can quit, restart, mute, fast forward, edit controls and settings. Now under the settings option, it will vary from system to system. So the options you see for Nintendo 64 games might be a little bit different to what you see from say Sega Mega Drive games. But just for an example, you click on settings. Here you'll see some options that are exclusive to the Nintendo 64 emulator. So if you want to increase your resolution, you can just click that and then choose something a bit higher. Feel free to experiment. There's lots to see. Anyway, that's how you use Lemuroid. I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching. <laughs>